Hi. So this particular talk is on what I might call emotional awareness. And the purpose is of this talk is to enhance self-awareness and to help us be in touch with what we are going through and also use this as a process to make sure that we don't fall into depression or sometimes even just regular stress. So this is a process of preempting stress and depression through the process of emotional awareness. And I would simply call it the I feel process. More often than not, we are very aware of our thoughts, we are aware of our judgments, we are aware of our opinions, because these are things that we share in conversations with other people around us. However, when it comes to emotions, a lot of times we hold back, especially with negative emotions, particularly because we are taught that negative emotions are not so good. So when it comes to aspects like jealousy, anger, sadness, we are taught to suppress it and not really express it openly. However, that's not really a healthy process given that whether we express it or not, these emotions do live in our systems and I also mean our physical systems and if we do not give healthy expression to it, at some point it is bound to uh, impact us physically and perhaps also lead to depression in the long run if they are not addressed properly. So the I feel process is a very simple process of emotional self-awareness which can later lead to self-regulation and healthy emotional management. So here is how the process goes. It's simply a process of completing a few sentences uh, in different aspects of our lives. So I have a few categories here. You can of course add to it as you use it in, a, in your regular day-to-day -day lives. And the process could be as simple as taking up maybe 10-15 minutes of your time once a week just to be in touch with your emotions in various aspects of life. And if you think there's anything disturbing that comes along, deal with it right then and there instead of waiting for it to have an adverse impact later. So this process may be done either by writing in your diary or simply writing in a piece of paper and then destroying it at the end of the process. You could even talk it out with someone. So this could be a dialogue with somebody that you're close to if you're comfortable doing that. Or simply just talk it out loud to a mirror, that works as well. So the general statements that we could begin with are when I'm getting ready for work, I feel. And you could write anything that you feel. And if you think you're coming up with feelings like excitement, enthusiasm, looking forward, that's great, good for you. But if you think week after week you're coming up with statements like, I feel I could go a little late, I feel it's not Monday, I, I wish it's not Monday today, then you know it's time to watch out and do something about that area of your life. Similarly, you could have statements like, at the end of a day, I feel, when I'm at work, I feel. And these are statements that could serve as indicators for you to understand, are you enjoying this aspect of your life, in this case work. Similarly, you could do a, sim uh, a process for relationship as well. Some indicative statements that you could use in the area of relationships are, when I'm with my spouse or my partner, I feel. When I'm around my parents, I feel. When I'm around my children, I feel. Or when I'm around my relatives or family in general, I feel. And have a look at the pattern that comes up in your statements. If it's a healthy pattern, if you think the feelings that come up are those of enjoyment and looking forward and comfort, it's good. If you think there is disturbance or discomfort that comes up in the process, then it's time to deal with it and nip it in the bud rather than letting the relationships and your own health deteriorate. And finally, these are some statements that you could use for general aspects of your life. For example, when I think of some of the mistakes I made, I feel. This is a good statement to indicate if you've really let go of your past or are you still living with a lot of regret. When I think of what I may have learned in my life, I feel. When I think of my recent past, I feel. When I think of the next few days, how is it that you look forward to the future or do you look forward to the future or not? When I think of the next few months, next few years, I feel. And these are statements that are indicators of 
are we rooted in the present moment it's a good indicator to understand are we rooted in the past or the future and it's a healthy exercise to understand where is it that we are emotionally so that we can nip problems in the bud and live in the present moment in the here and now